question. Where we are looking at uh, subsidiary ICT paper one, we are basically answering the questions that were asked in that paper of 2023. So in this paper, you know it has 20 equally weighed questions. And so number one was looking at differentiating between analog and digital computing devices. So here are the responses a candidate was supposed to give. So an answer slightly similar to this, you earn two marks. Then part B was asking for advantages of digital computing devices. So in this answer, you are supposed to respond like that. So going forward, question two was looking at the possible causes of fire outbreak in a computer laboratory. So these are some of the responses. Part B of number two was looking at the measures a school should put in place to have a secure computer laboratory. These are some of the responses that a candidate is supposed to give. More to that, here we are given the following terms to complete the statements in A to E. So part A was supposed to be screen server, part B an installer, part C WinZip, part D the fragmenter, and part E is a backup utility. So you can go through those questions and get their respective answers. Number four is asking you to describe an optical storage device. The response is there. Part B is asking to give three advantages of using a flash disk over a compact disk. So here you are giving advantages while comparing the two. So a flash disk is more portable, etc, etc. More to that, on number five, we are looking at defining what system software is as used in computers. So the right definition is there. Then part B was asking to list three types of system software. These are the three types of system software. Number six is asking to state the importance of each of the following devices to a banking institution. The CCTV, the right response is there. The magnetic ink character reader, MICR, the responses are there. Then part B is looking at to identify three computerized methods that banks are employing to reduce on time wastage. So these are some of the responses. Use of ATM for self-banking, use of mobile banking, online banking, etc, etc, as you can see them listed here. Then with the number 7A, you are given to select A and B, which one is in portrait. So A takes it up. Part B of number seven, they're asking us to explain the following print options, Roman one, set as default printer. That is the best uh, answer. Roman two, current page, the response is there. Number eight, we are given options below to complete the statements that follow. So here are the responses. You can go through them and get the right statement to give an answer. Number nine, they were asking us to explain the term software suit. And then from there to give one example of a software suit. So here I've listed a number of software suits. You can pick any. Then outline two advantages of off-the-shelf software. These are some of the responses that a candidate is supposed to give. So you can go through them. Number 10, write two protocols that facilitate the process of sending and receiving emails. These are the most common protocols for sending and receiving emails. Then give three reasons why you would prefer using email to traditional 
cost or service. So here in my response is where I've put TPS, it is standing for traditional postal service. Okay. Then with number 11, number 11, you are provided with the statements. And in here, you select an option from the given table that describes each of the processor components A to E. So there's an option and a description. And from here, we are picking from what is given above. There are the responses. Number 11, we are asked to give five elements of data communication. Here they are. Number 13, to explain the term digital forensics. Here is the explanation. And then part B, to outline any three limitations of digital forensics. These are some of the limitations that the candidate will point out to earn the three marks. Number 14, to state the function of language processors. These are two alternative answers. You can pick one as the function of a language processor. Write any two examples of high-level programming languages. Here are some of the examples of these. Part C was asking advantages of using high-level programming languages. The advantages may be many, but these are some of the key outstanding advantages of using high-level programming languages. Number 11 is asking us to explain the term or the concept of cloud computing. Here are three alternative answers. A candidate is supposed to at least uh, give one as the explanation of cloud computing. Part B, they are asking for merits of cloud computing. The merits might be many, but these are some of the merits that a candidate can point out to get the three marks. Number 16, they are asking us to state any three network attacks. The network attacks might be many, but these are some that we can mention here. Number 16, B is asking us to outline ways of protecting the network against any two of the attacks you mentioned above. So for example, if we say apply secure strong passwords, uh, this one is uh, a solution, for example, to hacking. Then when we say data encryption, it can also prevent hacking then activating firewalls can also prevent hacking. Uh, then, so your solution here should be reflecting a network attack listed in A above. More to that, uh, here we are asked to identify any one transmission medium that transmission media that is used in wired networks. You can mention twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, or optic fiber cable. Part B, we were asked to explain the following terms as used in data communication and networking. Roman 1 is a line of sight. These are two responses. You can pick one to explain what line of sight is. And here I've provided some examples. Then you are asked also to explain what attenuation is. And that is the response. 18, we are asked to name any one type of text alignment in a document. These are the key four text alignments in a document. Part B, we are asked to describe the following features as used in word processing. That is word wrap, mail merge. These have been explained here. You can take any of the description. 19, we are tasked to explain, to define a computer network. That is the definition. Part B is asking for three benefits of a computer network. So the benefits might be many, but a candidate is supposed to at least mention three of the benefits. Number 20 is about database. We are given a table and the following questions. Part A was asking us to identify the appropriate primary key from the given table. Part B, 
they are tasking us to suggest the data type that should be used for the tail contact field. That one, the response is there. Give one reason for setting up a suit suitable data types. So the response is there. These are three responses. You can take any of them. This one is to reduce errors. It was not complete, but it is to reduce errors. The last option here is to reduce errors. And part D, they are asking us to write a statement that would return all names of students born after 1st January 2000. So you can use any of these responses. So that is the paper and it marks the end of it. So you go through it, you can pause, rewind, and go through the paper as you read through the questions. So thank you for watching and following my YouTube channel.